What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I have a new installment in my Monolithic Pulse series to do for you guys. A uh, series in which I talk to you guys about extreme music outside of the realms of metal. And today we're going to be talking about the newest release from the project Nordvarger, entitled The Secret Barbarous Names, released through Malignant Records. Now... If you're not familiar with Nordvarger, it is a one-person project based out of Sweden, and it is put together by a guy by the name of Henrik Bjork, who performs under the pseudonym of Nordvarger. Now, this guy has probably one of the most important and prolific discographies when it comes to the realms of industrial music and power electronics, because for the better part of almost three decades now, this guy has been involved in some very, very serious projects. One project in particular being Machine Zimmer 412, or as many would know, MZ 412. Very, very influential industrial uh, electronic band. Pretty much a, one of the one of the very important bands to come from the cold meat industry era of bands. Just some very, very, very important and influential music. I mean, this guy is has pretty much a very prolific discography dating back all the way to 1988 with projects like MZ412 and, of course, this project under the pseudonym of Nordvarger pretty much continuing forward with it in, in the vein of what MZ412 did, but done things a little bit more differently. It's a very, very exhaustive and expansive discography, but yet he has been continuously consistent in creating really awesome music. Uh, this 2017 release is pretty much one of them. This is pretty much an expansion of, a, of an EP that was put out under the same name. Uh, I believe it was only four tracks long, but... Um, this newest incarnation of the Secret Barbarous Names extends things just a little bit longer. And um, from pretty much four songs, pretty, excuse me, five songs to nine tracks. And honestly, I think the extension of things makes this album um, an even more immersive and robust listening experience. Because pretty much, if you're familiarized with the Nordvarger sound, it's very, very spiritual in a sense. You almost get that ritual ambient sort of vibe from the minute you first hear the, the first pair of opening songs, and then as things get get tighter and tighter later on, you'll appreciate what, uh, what a release like The Secret Barbarous Names is all about. Pretty much the music and electronic experimentations do the talking for a release like this, but basically, when you do hear the vocals, you definitely do feel that sense of urgency and impact. An almost canonical sort of vocal styling and delivery. Uh, yeah. Draconian and Typhonian sort of influences, from what I read about and looked up for a release like this. I definitely see that sort of influence playing a big hand and factor for the, st for the style and concept and story of a release like The Secret Barbarous Names. I mean, songs like Mantra for Urhekau and Mantra for Kerta, Keperta, excuse me, I might be butchering some of these names, so I apologize in advance for that, but... The, the first two tracks on this album really, really set the pace right, set the pace perfectly, and for the fact that some of these songs are very methodical and crafty in length, it really gives that that smart and intelligent sort of vibe and factor. Uh, just the way things are built up, the way things are executed, it just sounds wonderful. It's very suspenseful, and it's very jolting at times. It's not noisy for the sake of wanting to distract you, it's... It's just something that you really need to listen all the way through in order to fully comprehend and understand what's going on. Even to some of the more shorter songs that are on a release like this, um, you really do appreciate the kind of build-up and tension a project like this brings and for a release like this to happen. Uh, like I said, I think this is probably the better way to listen to a release like The Secret Barbarous Names with the inclusion of the five extra songs 
the four the four or so extra songs that are included on this album to make it a more full and immersive Nordvarger listening experience. I mean, it's just really, really deep, thought provoking music. Um, scary, rumbling. I mean, just the 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 pulsations, the sensations. It's just really, really wonderful to listen to. I mean, going to later songs like um, uh, like a uh, Nile Deep and um, uh, uh, Gates of Azim. It's just really, really awesome to 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 just see the ideas coming forward from a guy like Henrik Bjork to to, to put out a release like this and really. Celebr a celebratory sort of thing for, for something like Nordvarger. This is really, really an amazing full-length album. And uh, if you're into what he's done in the past with MZ412, or if you're a fan of just really ritualistic sort of dark ambient sort of sounds, this Nordvarger release is definitely something to check out. So I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to the Malignant Records Bandcamp page where you can stream this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judges to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and it is available as a Digipack CD. And there will definitely be a lot more great things to come from either Nordvarger or MZ412. Definitely an influential artist to check out. So, uh, yeah. Nordvarger, The Secret Barbarous Names, released through Malignant Records. Check it out. If you happen to have heard it, definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it, and we can go from there. So, uh, I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Armijo out.